You ever have one of those days where you just in a crunch for time, you got a limited amount of time, you want to do some cardio, you want to do some muscle building, you just want to get in shape, but you, you just don't have the equipment, the time, you know, this is the perfect workout for that. What we're going to do is we're going to superset a couple of exercises. We're going to superset renegade rows and we're going to superset mountain climbers. You're going to do this circuit and it's really uh, cardio. It works your core. It's muscle building and you don't need a whole lot of equipment. You can use a couple of dumbbells or anything to really just get some weight to work that core in these renegade rows. Renegade rows, you're going to start by going face down on these dumbbells. Grab the dumbbells. And what you're going to do is go in a wide stance and you're going to do a row on each side. And what you want to do is on this renegade row is you want to think about it almost like a bow and arrow. He's going to take this arm and he's going to push it through the ground as if he's trying to straighten out the bow. And then he's going to draw back with the other arm and pull it to his, to his hip, drawing his elbow back as far as possible and pulling his shoulder blade back. He's going to lower it to the floor, stabilize, and then reverse. Push this one through the ground, pull it back, and, and uh, pull it to his hip and get that elbow back as far as possible, engaging his, his shoulder girdle. Then from there, once he does those, he's going to go into a mountain climber. He's going to kick his feet together. He's going to start with one leg forward, and then he's going to alternate legs quickly, keeping his hips stable and his low back straight. That's the mountain climber. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of sets of these, and what you're going to do is you're going to do five renegade rows. You're going to do five each arm, alternating, and then you're going to go into 10 mountain climbers, 10 each leg. All right, we're gonna rest 30 seconds after that. And we're gonna go through it a second time. This is a quick burst of intense cardio. It's some muscle building, it's core. It's kind of all over and it's gonna, it's gonna do the trick for you, trust me. So let's give that a shot. We're gonna go down in the renegade row. He puts his feet wide. Remember, keep those feet wide and here you go, you count them out. He's gonna pull that back, drive that arm One. forward into the ground, pull that elbow Two. back, pull it into his hips. He's trying to keep Three. as square to the ground as possible, keeping that blank position. Four. Keep his core tight, keep his glutes Five. tight. And into the mountain climbers. One, two. He's trying to Three. keep his hips flat Four. here, his low Five. back flat, everything Six. stable so he's Seven. not bouncing up and Eight. down. Nine, ten. Okay, so we're gonna go into our second set now. Go ahead and grab that and here we go. Five more renegade rows. And as he gets into One. these and he drives that arm through the floor, he's pulling Two. back, he's keeping that core engaged, those glutes Three. tight, working his whole body, breathing through everything. Four. Now the thing is, we're gonna do two sets here, Five. but you can go by time. If you have 15 minutes, you have One. 20 minutes, you have 25 Two. minutes, it really doesn't Three. matter. Four. You can just keep doing Five. these sets, resting Six. in between. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's awesome, get you cooking. That does the trick. It gets your heart rate up, gets your core engaged, builds some muscle. It's the perfect mix. Like I was saying, if you have 15 minutes, it's great. See how many times you can go through it in 15 minutes. If it's two sets, three sets, four sets, five sets, try to increase it every time. That's the thing, progressive resistance. And it doesn't matter how heavy the weight is, it's all about doing it right, engaging, and, and getting that heart rate up.